Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a variety of different video content using AI. So to do this, we'll be using wave.video and we'll also be combining that with chat GPT. If you're unfamiliar with what wave.video is, essentially it's a pictory alternative, but uh, I do find that you have a lot more features included in wave.video than you have included on pictory. Pictory is really good at allowing you to be able to turn your text or your script into um, a video and post that online but wave.video has a bunch of different video specific templates in which you can choose from to create video content for any type of scenario. So for instance, they have a variety of different video templates that would be useful for social media content such as YouTube videos, Facebook videos, Instagram videos, Twitter videos, and so on. You can also create ad specific videos so you can create news videos for Facebook news feed. You can create quotes videos, you can create ad videos as well, promo videos and customer uh, testimonials using their templates. And there's also industry specific templates. So depending on the industry that you're in, you can select your industry and you'll be able to find some specific templates for that specific industry. You also have use cases. So if you would just like to um, search for templates depending on the use case in which you're creating a video for you can also do that um, using wave.video and there's also some uh, trending or holiday specific templates so if you wanted to create a video for a specific holiday you can use these templates or if you wanted to create a trending template you can also choose from a variety of different templates so as you can see there's a variety of different templates that you can choose from when using wave.video and in my opinion you're able to get much more higher quality and more professional templates when using this tool compared to Pictory. And just before we continue the video, I do want to let you know that Wave.video does have a lifetime deal available on AppSumo. So currently, you can get access to a lifetime deal for this tool for a one-time purchase of $99. And this will give you all of the planned features, all of the streaming features, and all Animation Studio Pro planned features. You also have four hours of streaming pre-recorded videos and you have two cameras and three shares per guest. And if you want, you can always go ahead and uh, get the double plan if you need to add some more features and hours and cameras and guest. So a couple options there in which you can choose from. Do keep in mind that the lifetime deal does end in about a week. So if you want to go ahead and grab this, then I would uh, grab it before it does expire because you can save a lot of money in the long run by just getting the lifetime deal and paying one time compared to having to pay monthly. So if you wanted to grab the lifetime deal, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So once you have an idea for the type of video in which you would like to create, just go ahead and click on that video and you'd be able to see the variety of templates that they have available. So right now it's around Valentine's Day. So we see that uh, they're giving us the most relevant or trendy uh, templates included here. And I assume that this will change depending on the season. But again, just go ahead and scroll through the variety of different templates and see whichever one you like the best and whichever one um, sort of mostly resembles the video in which you're trying to create. And if you don't like any of those templates, you can always go back to the use cases and play around with this. So again, if you're creating a travel vlog video, um, you can go ahead and use that template and um, you can actually get some ideas for content in which you would like to create. So for instance, we see that this vlogging um, video actually gives us vlogging tips in which you can use. So if you wanted to use that, just click on that specific template. We're going to click add. And then you want to choose how you want to use this template. So you can add it to the beginning. You can replace it um, for specific templates that you already have, or you can add it to the end. For this example, we'll be adding it to the beginning so that we can actually go ahead and start creating our video using this template. So we get a nice little preview of the video templates and we can always go ahead and change any scene um, to our liking. But before we actually start editing our video, let's go ahead and create the script for this video. So again, this video will be about the four tips um, for making your first vlog. So in order to generate my YouTube script, I'm going to head over to ChatGPT and I'm going to input that prompt. So here are the four tips that we got back from ChatGPT that you need to keep in mind before making your first vlog. So you wanna plan your content, invest in good equipment, practice your delivery and be authentic and engaging. So let's go ahead and copy each one of these and we're gonna create a new scene for each one of those um, specific tips. So this is a scene for tip number one. So we're going to then go ahead and paste our new content in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to bring this up a little bit higher so that it's more visible in the scene. And if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and change the um, text style. So on the right hand side here, this will show you some basic text styles in which you can choose from. So you can make it so that it's more highlighted. You could add a black background or you can make it more blue. So again, you can actually go ahead and edit the colors as well and just 
really find whatever works the best for your style and the type of video which you're creating. And if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and change the text as well. So whatever font you would like to change, you can uh, change that right within this section here. You can change your colors, you can change the bold, you can add a text effect as well. So if you would like it to be more animated, you can add a fade. That's what it'll look like. You can add a side border. You can add a frame. You can add a curtain. I would definitely recommend adding in an animation because this is a video and you would like to make it as engaging as possible. So once you've um, chosen that animation, again, if you wanna go ahead and view what it looks like, just click on that section. And boom, there you go. You'll be able to see the new animation in which you created. And if you wanted to change the background, you can go ahead and click um, on that specific image and you'd be able to see um, the stock video in, that's being used right now. And you can search for similar stock videos and choose something else that really um, resonates with the type of video in which you're trying to create. So again, if you didn't like that video, you can just go ahead and find something else that works better for your use case. And because this section is about plan, I'll just search up plan. And we'll use this uh, video instead because this makes more sense for this specific section of the video. Okay, so I've went ahead and changed the background so that makes more sense and it matches with that specific tip. And you wanna go ahead and do the same thing for tip number two. So tip number two, um, let's go back over to ChatGPT, invest in good equipment. Okay, so we've added in the text and if you wanted to change the background again, let's go ahead and click on that, click replace. And we're gonna search up equipment and we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so that it actually covers the whole scene here and let's take a look to see what that looks like okay so that looks pretty good and you'd want to go ahead and do the same methods for tip number three and tip number four and just uh, for all of the other scenes of your video i'm not going to go ahead and do it for each one of the scenes because it'll be too long and redundant but essentially um, that is the uh, method in which we'd follow and you can always go ahead and play around with different backgrounds with different layouts with different text um, overlay and stickers as well you can always go ahead and add those in um, to your content you can also go ahead and change up the audio so if you wanted to change the audio you can um, search up different audios um, that you can use for the video that again goes um, the best with the type of video in which you're trying to create if you wanted to you can also add some captions you can take a look at your storyboard just to make sure that everything looks well. You can add some enhancers. So again, a lot of different um, features that you have included in this tool that really allows you to create the best quality videos. And again, the main difference between this tool and Pictory is that you have a lot more templates uh, compared to Pictory. So as I mentioned earlier, you can choose a template for any type of content in which you're creating. It doesn't have to be a long form YouTube video. It could be a short form video for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. It could also be specific for use cases. You could also create live streaming templates when you're doing a live stream. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of other use cases such as blog promotion, background videos, podcast promotion, restaurant promo, recipe videos, countdown, lyric videos, tutorials, and so on. And they've recently added in some image templates so you can create a thumbnail, a lower third, a meme, a Facebook cover, a quote, or an overlay. So again, a lot of different features and a lot of different templates there that really allow you to create the best quality video content using this tool. And once you combine that with ChatGPT to actually create the copy, you'll be able to have a very, very powerful workflow that helps you to get the highest and most engaging copy using ChatGPT. And then you can combine that with the video content that you create using wave.video. So if you'd like to check out wave.video, as I mentioned before, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you can use these two tools within your business to help you create higher quality video content. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, or if you have any video topic suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy the video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.